Yes, we're back out in the front. Where we belong. Can I have my weapons back? You may take your weapons. Thanks. Did you... Oh, you didn't equip my weapons properly. Maybe because I equipped this one, so it undid everything. Congo! Congo! I know my... That's the name of my... Gun. Uh, why can't I sort by type? Here we go. So I need a... Um, pistol. This one. It's... The menus are covering up everything I want to see. <laughs> Uh, we had an assault rifle in the second slot before, but like, which- oh my lord. I guess it was the best one. This one doesn't have any attachments, just put some random stuff on it. Long range scope. Uh, this is stealth. And then shotgun. Ever since we put up the difficulty, we haven't had to fight a single time yet, so we don't know how that's really gonna work out. Should I hold a melee weapon, by the way? Kinda wonder. I don't have a slot for it, though, because we do have some melee weapons. We got that epic knife from the office earlier. We could try. It's a very good knife, apparently. Let's get rid of all these other knives. The Tanto! Yeah, I guess I'll have a knife here and... Well, the knife here is better than freaking the hammer. Non-lethal. This one's lethal. Okay. We can try it. Crit chance. What's this? Nothing. A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. We've heard this already. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. I can see the appeal of the place. If we can always get those therapy sessions, I feel like V might actually sort of enjoy that. But that's not why we're here. It's not, so we gotta focus on finding Evelyn again. Hmm... Man, I just can't believe she was working that kind of job, though. Not because it's like a bad... I mean, it is a bad job, because... Your memory gets wiped! I can't... I can't get past that. That's crazy. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. Maybe you should try it, huh? Oh, that's right, you can't because you don't have a body. Think Fingers has got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Okay, cool. Apparently we're still in a hostile area right now. That might be, um... Might be a bug. I don't think we are. Let's get out of here. And if we can talk to that fixer, whoever it is, on the way down, that would be very good too. Why am I... My vision is going all crazy. Is it because of Johnny? Mayor. <coughs> oh, what the? <coughs> you had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. Now you're flat. 
don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Mm. <laughs> the hell's that? Relic malfunction detected. No, 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 no damn, damn it. it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. I don't recognize you. Just pass Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I gotta get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. You want my body? See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Yeah, that's something we don't know about yet, still. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. You know, you're just an irritating hallucination, right? J just ignore And you're you. a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so this Makoshi, what is it? Exactly. Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are ya? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <laughs> but it still is today. Telling ya, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. I'm not, afraid of not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. Thank you for making me go on a mission while I'm like half dead. That was kind of a big info dump randomly, I guess because we were not feeling well. So he's like, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this. It is not a main job. That's a little bit surprising. Tapeworm, right? Oh, that's all the jobs we did. Tapeworm. Where is Tapeworm? I don't see it anymore. Is it one of these ones? 
No, it's not a main job. Okay, maybe I'll worry about it later on then. Still waiting for my car to be repaired. Human nature. Okay, uh, forget it then. Let's let's call Judy. No, 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 no! Don't change it to human nature. We have so many messages. Wakako. Who the hell's this? El Capitan Reyes? Oh, and another thing, if you want to come size me up, look me in the eye, whatever, swing by, I'm here. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to meet you. That's one of the fixers, right? Mm, my building, H10. Special reward. Yes. I need to go to a ripper dock near Watson so I can get the reward from Wakako. That's probably something we should do sooner rather than later. There's so many things that need to be done right now. Mmm, maybe I'll increase my body. Yeah, and then perk point. I like hacking a lot. Automatically highlight nearby access points. Time is not really an issue for the breach protocol. I guess I'll do this. Why not? More passive stuff, the better. What's this stuff? Skill progression. Max level. So my my skill can't be any higher? Is it linked to my level in the... The bigger thing? Like, my intelligence is level 7. So my breach protocol can't go above 7? Is that how it works? I don't even know. Hmm. Anyway, Judy. Man, we can even call Jackie. Hmm. Of course not. What about Mama Wells? Oh. How do you feel? I lost my son. What How am I supposed to feel? The pipe that burst in our building. Those city I, bastards I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have. I do. It's just. I don't even have his body. They say that funerals are for the living, not the dead. How can I say goodbye if I can't even give him a proper funeral? Mi propio hijo. It's okay. I'm all else. The NCP advises those traveling beyond official police jurisdiction. I can't talk about this now. Okay. I thought the body was sent back to her. Wasn't the body sent back to her? Isn't that what Delamain said? Ever talked to Misty in the end? I did like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And? She's so skinny. Who would have thought? Know what she looks like. <laughs> Not what I'm asking. Hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentrica. Said my home sits on a natural energy source. But I think I know why, Jackie. I'm glad. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. That's good. That's good. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. Around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No future. And where they end up? Behind bars. Or in the ground. This neighborhood died a long time ago. Hang in there, Mama Wells. I'll check in on you some other time. Gotta go. What is the statue? We saw a small version of the statue back at Regina Jones's place too. We saw it from the back. I didn't comment on it because I didn't think it was anything, but that's the second time we've seen it now. A figure with four hands holding two orbs. Maybe it's just a fancy street lamp. And I just realized that fixer icon is probably Wakako, because we're back at Jig Jig Street again. Yeah. 
You called. <laughs> Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this Fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later V. I mean, I guess we're continuing on this main quest, even though I want to space them out, but I feel like I want to at least finish the line of finding Evelyn first, whether we actually make it there or not. Hey, look at this, I'm almost dead. This has definitely gone up since last we saw it, so that's great. Fingers. We're back here again. Yes, Johnny? Mumbai. Place has a wicked vibe. So, there's more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Can you really not see the appeal of clouds, though? Hmm, I can see why. I can see exactly why people go there. Hey, we're in the back alley. He chipped you for free? Fuck off! Yeah? Gear looks a little basic, but it works. Oh, have we not been here? Oh, this is so hidden. Normally wouldn't go here. What the hell is this building? Storage. There's plastic here. Feel like we walked into a bad neighborhood immediately. Okay, no affiliation, but these guys are guarding the door. Mitzi Sparks. Sick! A sick joy toy. Faulty, damaged cyberware. Well, well, what do we got here? And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Come over and give me that release then. I've got a knife. <laughs> I kind of want to use my knife. I kind of want to. Lost your way. Got an issue need sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, <laughs> let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking. Sheesh. Fine. Let her through, sludge. Hey, that was body six, right? Good use of increasing my points earlier. I imagine if we just said fuck off, that probably wouldn't have gone well. Outer space, my life in orbit. What's life in space like? Comfortable. Of course, not everything is a bed of roses. Gravity below 1G isn't great for your bones or muscles. Synthesized food isn't to die for. And stuff from Earth is as rare as it is expensive. If you live in a private orbital station, congrats, you're richer than me. You always see the same faces. But if you live in a hybrid station like Crystal Palace, you'll have to live with corporate bachelor parties every weekend. A corporal rat. But don't let that put you off. There are more upsides than downsides to living in orbit. First of all, safety. To get into orbit, you need a lot of zeros in your bank account, which means you won't be seeing legions of homeless people, scazzed out gangsters or aggressive joy toys. The exception to that being the lunar colonies, but no self-respecting orbital dweller would ever set foot there. In other words, you can walk outside at night unarmed, without security, and come back home in one piece, wallet undisturbed. Amazing, right? Wow, because only rich people can afford to be there. Secondly, quality of service. Anyone in the customer service sector had to rack up on enormous debt to come up here. Their only hope to pay it off within their lifetimes is to rake in a lot, and I mean a lot of tips. Which means they'll bend over backwards to satisfy every whim. Maybe even literally. If you're an employer, you don't have to worry that an employee you just hired and trained at your expense will suddenly quit and go work for the competition for a few extra eddies a week. Many stations, especially the private ones, simply don't have competition. 
And if they do, it's basically negligible. Agreements can be made so situations like that don't occur. Thirdly, and most importantly, no government can tell you what to do, where and how. Orbital stations are autonomous and governed by their own laws, and there aren't that many of them. If you can afford your own station, you're the undisputed lord and master of your own little corner of space. You want to tie the help up to a whipping post when they make a mistake? Go right ahead. Want five wives or four husbands? I'm sure you'll have a line of willing volunteers. Hmm. If only I had that kind of money, huh? I think we read this one. No, we haven't. Who is Dr. Paradox? Who's hiding behind the distorted mask? Unsurprisingly, Doc Paradox won't say. After all, he's breaking the law. He has to protect his identity. If he revealed even the tiniest sliver about himself, Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it. Think. What kind of person could successfully hide behind the world's most powerful corporations for years? Who could hack into encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly classified corporate secrets? The answer is obvious. Doc Paradox is one of them. He's a puppet controlled by the establishment. To what end? Maybe this is how corporations funnel our anger and frustration in a safe and controlled manner. Through a rebel, who will never go so far as to issue a call to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition. Or maybe he's just a branding opportunity? In a month or two, Avanti could put out a new Doc Paradox line for us to wear our disapproval. Only time will tell, but for Christ's sake, don't listen to a word out of this phony's mouth. A hacker? Famous hacker? That's a very smart idea, though, if it's true. Somebody controlled by the corporations, just giving an outlet for people to um, channel their rage so that they can feel like they're winning some, too. As opposed to the rich people winning literally everything. Oh, we don't need this. We can go right in. Thank you, boys. It's said that I'm in a hostile area for the longest time. I'm guessing that's a bug. Oh, gracious creature and, and benign! Just don't turn off the light. Visit it to the element of obscure! To the world in the basement, with, with, with the whole time. bloody stain imbrued! It's for a friend, the king of all we are! Dead. Our prayer to him shall for thy peace arise! Sounds like paradise. There's a lot of broken joy toys here. This guy specializes in looking for them for some reason. Hey, you okay, man? Hey, you alright? No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, all you got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. Why? I thought that this guy might want to, like, experiment on these people. Maybe. We don't know yet. Hey, Johnny, it's your vinyl record. It's junk. It's literally junk. Flags on all city buildings will lower it to half mast, and all major public events have been postponed. Oh, we saw this already. Notice. Daughter and heiress Hanako Arasaka recently arrived in the city in the wake of the tragedy. Hmm. A wake will be held at Arasaka. Yeah, that lady. I'm sure we're going to be meeting her. She's come up too many times. Will be transported to their final resting place back in his native gym. Yorinobu, if he finds out I'm still alive, probably wouldn't be very happy. I think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mock in town descends on this shithole. So Hanako would be a very good friend to make. Yeah, do it anyway so we get experience points. Hey, what was going on up here? Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Random pimp. <laughs> I don't owe you shit! 
Oh, but you do. And that shit has a name. Something around 20 thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think fingers would have fixed a cracked face plate for free? You want out? You gotta pay me back. Oh, sorry. You know, I'm actually gonna make a save right here first because I want to see if we can fix that area hostile thing before we move on. There we go. Fingers MD. Fingers MD. Fourth wall, what is that? I don't remember that place. Does it not have an entry? I don't see it. Fingers MD. No, maybe it just doesn't have an entry. Not every single place does. V, hey. Oh, hey! You're here. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn! Hey, I didn't know you were coming. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like... His hand sometimes slips. What does that even mean? Does he steal people's parts? Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Hmm. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Yeah, that doesn't seem to make sense. Because a Mox, at least you got people protecting you, and you have all of your memory intact. That's a pretty big thing. What's up with you? When she was on her job during when she got hacked? Would she even remember getting hacked? You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. You think they like me, but they don't like you? <laughs> she means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? <laughs> moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Not close, huh? Don't get the impression this is the case? You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Oh, so you know everybody there. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Well, let's calm down. See if we can get in there. Think Evelyn's oh. being kept here somewhere? On the but I'm trying to press the computer here. Oh. Oh. If you can move away a little bit, Judy. Fingers MD. Clinic. Med bay. Repair. Services about me schedule. Something broken? Gears creak and sparks fly when they shouldn't? Don't worry. Dr. Fingers will take care of it. I offer comprehensive care options for implant repair. I can fix everything. And if something has really outlived its use, I can find you a low-cost alternative. Tired of your boring, generic, or organic arm or leg? You've come to the right place. I'll replace any organ or limb so quickly and painlessly, you won't even notice. Anesthesia charged extra. Wow. It's like a black market doctor. Ah, oh, my favorite field of medicine. I have a good eye for beauty and know just how to achieve it. After just a few moments on my operating table, you'll go from being a lackluster nobody to an irresistible sex kitten. Trust me, I'm a professional. 
I'm Finn Gerstadt, a ripper dog who's passionate about his craft. Not only do I treat bodies in need, but I see things no one else sees. I believe in the personal touch. That's why I nurture real relationships with my clients. My patients always come back to me because they know they can count on Finn. I never leave anyone behind. My work is first my passion, then my living. That's why I never kick up a fuss if someone wants to pay me in kind. We can always work something out. That sounds nice, but I feel like it could be kind of sinister too. Okay, you can't pay me in money, then pay me in something else. I was born and lived all my life in Japantown, right here in Night City. Why go looking for greener pastures when you have the Chrome Eden that is Night City and its beating heart, Japantown? Ever since I was little, I've been fascinated by implants and always ask myself how much of the human body can be replaced by Chrome. Where the human ends and the machine begins. I learned by craft from the one and only Harold Hunter as an apprentice until Harold was sadly murdered. He was killed by bad people and not out of revenge. Harold never hurt a hair on anyone's head. Trust me, I knew him. Convincing. <laughs> Today's appointments, right leg repair, eye adjustment, tits exchange, tits reduction, motor function adjustment. This guy's schedule is packed. Spinal fluid replacement. Okay, uh, we have to find a way to cut in line because this is... That's a lot going on today. Oh, oh, I didn't even see this person here. Everybody's sick. Mmm, she's too sick to even talk to us. I wonder if we could have just cl Whoa! Just watch you don't break your legs, honey. Gonna be begging fingers for a new pair. Yeah, we can probably just climb up here, huh? Bypass the whole thing. Hi. You seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Oh, oh. <laughs> Honey, pick my guest. Well, now hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Listen to your friend. I'll try to open those Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. That was easy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. How about now? Better. Crime block. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had Can we not a go in yet? Still. You. Edges are stretching your optic nerve. Chrome Night Love. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's done. Rest. We going in? Eventually. Yeah, give me a uh Should I read it now? I mean, I guess we could. Crowman's mask glinted in the light of the setting sun, like a beacon in the dark of this rotten city. Lucille's heartbeat began to quicken. Her legs trembled beneath her. Hot blood pumped through her veins in a way she didn't know it could. He looked at her, his strong masculine figure towering over the bloodied corporate corpse, which just a moment ago had violently tried to defile Lucille's virtue. What's the matter with me? Her mind raced. Why him? Why me? Hundreds of questions burned inside her head, but when she finally parted her lips to speak, only one question emerged. Who are you really? Crowman took Lucille into his cold metal hands. She flinched at the touch. You know I can't tell you that. They'll find you. They'll rip my secret out of you any way they can, and then kill you. I don't care about any of that. I... I love you. She couldn't feel his face, his real one, concealed under that veil of chrome but she could have sworn she heard a note of emotion in his deep voice. You love a dream. You don't know who hides under this mask. I don't care what you look like. What if I'm disfigured? I can afford an operation. <laughs> he has to change. He can't accept it. And if I'm an android? It doesn't matter. And if... Then, suddenly, in one swift motion, Croman removed the mask to reveal the face of the Mita de la Veli. If I'm a woman... Lucille stood there, dumbstruck. A tempest of emotions swirled in a frenzy throughout her being. But in another moment, the storm calmed and she smiled warmly. 
Taking her savior's face into her hands, the proverbial clouds of her tumultuous mind began to part. Lucille was beginning to see clearly at last. How many times does a woman need to say she loves you? Lucille smirked and whispered softly, before you believe her. So being disfigured is not okay, but being a woman is okay. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yes, hello. What can I do for you? Chemicals, the invisible killer. We've long known that the AVs crisscrossing our skies are busy dumping harmful substances in the air, such as aluminum, carbon dioxide, sulfur trioxide, and sulfuric acid. Studies have also revealed the presence of dead red blood cells in E. coli, as well as sodium chloride, table salt. Now, you don't need a degree in science to know the harm these substances can wreak on the body. We've found that sulfur compounds can lead to cancer, heart disease, and other illnesses arising from a weakened or even damaged immune system. They can also lead to spontaneous dental hydroplosion and acute meningitis. Oh, those harmful chemicals, man. Like dihydrogen monoxide. Tanto. Fingerstadt. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your... Clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? He installs faulty implants? Focus V. Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please. Scrapyards offer better quality than this. Yeah, we're trying to get information from him. I don't know what kind of approach we want to be taking. Forget why we're here. But Judy is very aggressive right now. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants. You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Please set your exquisite... Can't speak or what? You weren't even done talking. Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but... If only I knew who you were talking about. Forest without help. Focus V. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You. you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? 
Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. So you remember her? Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. The instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. So where is she then? Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Mm. Well, come on. Show dominance, but not aggression. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. So the instruction chip doesn't work, but her body still works? You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Somehow I kind of don't believe that. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Oh. Well, we know her. That's good. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The Mox is all about girls being independent. The minority being independent. So they, I, I imagine they really, really hate this. Well, come on. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now, they looked like you. They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. Why don't we go to Wakago instead of the guys? We have rapport with her. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Ooh. Need air. I'll be outside.
This guy's acting like an asshole, but forget it. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell, day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here. I will after I loot everything in your room. God. Like Judy really, really cares about Evelyn. So people insulting her is really not so nice. We read this one before. I'm just gonna take all your stuff as I can. Cotton mouth. One-handed club. Iconic. I'll be more than glad to show you around. But, um, uh, later, perhaps. Well, is you're a ripper dog. Do you work on me? Would you? Would I want you to? I'm taking everything. NDA is junk. That's reassuring. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. To this guy, Evelyn was nobody. But he really wasn't mincing words. He didn't care about being sensitive or anything. I can't touch it. Why don't we just go talk to Wakaku directly about this? Instead of trying to find the two men. Thank you for letting us cut in line. I appreciate it. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. I don't feel like I even want to say this one. Why upset her? Like, it... mm. don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. Want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, Market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Why would Evelyn be good for a underground black market BD though? A malfunctioning doll? Why is that good? Need they to get figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh. Have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Ah, uh, because black market BDs have really forbidden topics like murder and stuff, so they would just find some random disposable person to film it, scroll it. What's up with you? Everyone, everything leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Exactly. Well. Your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. You got it, boss lady. Let me think for a sec. Hmm. This is probably a point for us to stop for now, if we want to stop, but... I feel like we should continue looking for Evelyn Parker until we find her at the minimum, right? It just feels too awkward to stop here. Talk to Wakako. Think I'll try calling Wakako. Fix your fingers mentioned. I thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. <sighs> okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze. Play detective. 
Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Yeah, I guess in my mind, I sort of assumed, hey, we know Wakako, she'll be willing to give us some information, but she's not actually my friend. She's just somebody, she's a fixer, and I'm a, I'm a fixie. <laughs> we just have a business relationship. She's not gonna um, sell out her other business associates because I want some info from her. And apparently this is how we get upstairs. This is one way to get in here. Hi! Hey, 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 watch that. Watch that ash. Oh, but the blinds aren't openable. Maybe not now. Hmm, interesting. There are so many ways. The kids are gone. 